So the next generation iPhone SE might be the most exciting one to date. We've had new design leaks here, CAD renders come in, and we've also been told now that we're going to be getting an OLED display on the iPhone SE too. But today, let's go over all the details about this and of course about the iPhone SE release date and price too. So moving on then with the current iPhone SE, it's crazy to think that it's been about three years ago since we had an upgrade to it. It was the same design again as an iPhone 8, especially that this design came out in 2017 with that phone. The only other major changes that we saw inside of it were 5G and we also got the new A15 chipset at that time, what was 30% faster than the last generation iPhone SE. If you didn't know already, there's been three iPhone SE models from Apple over the years. We had the first in 2016, what was based on the iPhone 5S design. And then in 2020, we had the second generation iPhone SE, what is based on the iPhone 8 design. And again, that old design was used again for the 2022 iPhone SE. From what we have seen is the SE models tend to have the latest chipset inside them from the flagship phones released the year before with the the price being the lowest that Apple can offer at that time. So looking forward to the fourth generation iPhone SE, the great news is that we're going to be getting some big changes. The biggest news that we've been told is finally we will be getting a new design for the iPhone SE and it seems that the design will be based off the iPhone 14 design but as you can see here in these new leaks we've had here of CAD drawings here, the front here we've got the notch but on the back we've only got a single camera on it and it's also a very flat design too. But We've also been told for the first time we're going to get an OLED display on the very front of this iPhone which is really cool. As you can imagine, it means that the iPhone will be larger too because it will now be a 6.1 inch display and it's most likely that display will actually be an LCD screen, not an OLED screen. So this will be similar to the sort of display we had with the iPhone XR and also the iPhone 11 to keep costs down. The design has also been told to be modified to actually have a standard USB-C port at the bottom, but this will only have USB 2.0 port like the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus. But there's also the possibility an action button could be added and as much as I just said that the iPhone 14 actually has two camera lenses on the back of it, it could be modified just to have one on the back. Also, with having this iPhone 14 design, you can imagine the dimensions are going to be very different, as you can see right here. So you can actually see that the iPhone 14 length is 146.7 millimeters compared to the current 138.4. The width as well is slightly longer at 71.5. The thickness also is a tiny bit more thicker at 7.8 millimeters. And of course, I think the biggest difference you also see here is also the weight is about 15 to 20% more heavier. But at the end of the day, this is a big size increase in the actual iPhone going up to 6.1 inch display from the current 4.7 inch that we have right now. So obviously it's going to be a bigger and heavier iPhone, but not to worry because other iPhones are even heavier. I'll go over the full specs of what we know about in a moment, but I think you can take away from this that the next generation iPhone will be at least one inch bigger than we currently have with the iPhone SE, what a lot of people have been crying out for. I think the main thing to take away from this is the next generation iPhone SE will be at least one inch bigger for its screen size than the current iPhone SE that we have right now. And this is something what everyone's crying out for. They want a slightly larger iPhone SE and they want a new design too. Now, just quickly, a quick note. With leaks being so early and to be honest, any leaks even up to the iPhone SE release date that I find and I show to you guys, a lot of previous leaks for other Apple products have come true, but there are some that can get misinterpreted based on the facts that the leakers have been told. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. No leak or rumour is 100% true until the final iPhone SE is being shown officially from Apple. However, if you are like me and you're also watching this video still, then you as curious as I am in knowing what the next generation iPhone SE is going to be like and want to know all the latest leaks and rumours are, no matter what they tell us. So, for the release date next, I think we need to do a quick summary of where we are with each of the iPhone SEs and when they came out. Well, the first one came out in 2016, it came out on March 31st, then the 2020 iPhone SE came out on April 24th, 
and then in 2022 it came out on March 18. So you can see here straight away that all these iPhone SEs have come out around about a spring event. This also makes sense as normally Apple do use the other side of the year to actually release their sort of flagship iPhones instead. So, you know, we're talking about the upcoming iPhone 16. Apple would not want to jeopardize the sales of their iPhone SE or the flagship models with releasing both at the same time. But for the actual year when we were going to get our hands on the new iPhone SE, well, as you can see here from reports, We've been told it is going to be 2025 when we're going to get our hands on the brand new iPhone SE model, similar to the renders that we are seeing right here. So then guys, just quickly, I want to talk about the brand new Charge, Charge Geek 170, and it's this mega power bag, what is really, really awesome in its looks. It has this amazing transparent design I absolutely love and it's also got this prism sort of silhouette kind of look too. And it actually got its inspiration from Dark Side of the Moon for this actual look. What is really, really awesome. I absolutely love it. But not only this though, this power bag has a lot of amazing features built into it too. As you can see right now, I'm charging up my iPhone 15 Pro Max with it. And you can actually monitor the actual charging of inputs and outputs on this digital screen here on the front and how many watts are going out to your devices. And when I say devices, I literally mean that. We've got two USB-C ports and we've also got a one times USB-A port too. So you can charge up three devices all in one go. This power bank also has a total of 170 watts of output out of these three ports, what can be shared around using PD3 technology. And also if your devices are compatible, they can benefit from fast charging for higher efficiency. Also, with just one USB-C port, like I'm doing right here, I can actually charge up, say, the likes of a brand new M3 MacBook Air. And in fact, if you've got the likes of, say, a 16-inch MacBook Pro, you're going to have no problems there because the maximum output on just one single USB-C port is 140 watts on just one port, what is incredible. And as you can see from the batteries in this design here, we've actually got 24,000 milliamp battery capacity inside of it. And if you want to check out this brand new Shard Geek 170 power bank right now, make sure you check out the links from Charge right now while in my actual description of this video below. And with that, it's back to the main video. So next of all, let's talk about the iPhone SE 4 specs and everything we know so far in that area. So starting out then, the big difference is it is a brand new design. That's what we've been told. So we're going to be getting a 6.1 inch LCD display, but we have heard of that rumor of an OLED display too. And this will be coming in at a 6.1 inch screen and its resolution will be 2532 by 1170 and it'll also just be a 60 hertz display because it is an se model but this does mean it's a 460 pixel per inch so it's a very clear screen that we will get here we will also get six gigabytes of ram inside of this iphone and then we'll have probably just only just two options of 128 gigabytes and a 256 gigabyte storage option most likely it will have the last generation sort of chipset inside of it so this will be the a16 bionic it will not be an a17 pro because this is definitely not a pro phone it will come with 5g connectivity and also that a16 will also probably come with just a four core gpu inside of it there also has been told of rumors that we're also going to be getting an action button being added and of course it will also have to have usb c but it will probably just have usb 2.0 speeds inside of it again because it's an se model it will be made out of an aluminium body or aluminum body and then obviously it will be having an ip68 rating so this means that you could just drop it into a pool up to about six meters and then you can rescue it within 30 minutes so that's all really good there most likely it's either going to have a 12 megapixel single camera what's a wide lens or have a dual camera setup similar to the iphone 14 because this is what it's based on but both of them will just be 12 megapixel camera sensors on that one and it'll be a wide and ultra wide the battery size will probably be the same as the iphone 14 size so this will be a 3279 milliamp battery size and then the base model will probably be coming in at 449 us dollars for the 128 gigabyte model and then 569 us dollars for a 256 gigabyte model 
So that is a summary of the new iPhone SE. And for my thoughts, I've actually been looking at you guys, at your comments, what you've been sharing over the last year. And I think one of the things that most of us all agree on, we need a new design for the iPhone SE. They cannot use our iPhone 8 design again for another year. So yeah, it does look like this is gonna be changing now to an iPhone 14 design, but I would love to know your thoughts. Are you happy with this design? It's gonna be that 6.1 inch display. Let me know in the comments below. And and also guys it's time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please make sure that you like this video and also at the same time if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell until next time guys i'll see you really soon bye bye